Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? How are you doing? How are you handling all that there is happening in this world? And what is happening in your world? Let's have a cup of coffee. I know uh, so many of you are homebound or... I don't know if that's the right word nowadays or not, but so many are having this anxiety of staying home, which for those who are sole uh, entrepreneurs and they work from home and they take their computer uh, at home and then any of everywhere they go, to them this has become like a norm. And uh, I had a client yesterday and she said, well, it feels like more people are doing what I am doing nowadays instead of me doing what they are doing. So kudos to all of you who are handling it. Um, I saw something yesterday. I think it would be befitting for you to think about this. When we think about the word fear, fear can have two meanings. One is forget everything and run so it's like not necessarily a cop out but it's just running and shutting things out or you can choose face everything and rise isn't that a better way so when we think about words and words of affirmation it's what resonates with us better. Today, we're going to do a heal talk. Um, a heal talk about healing, how we can overcome our anxieties, and how we can be more of help and support system for one another. I've seen all the jokes um on facebook and i think it's horrendous and uh, some of the things that are happening and it is funny some of the jokes that it's happening but it has brought families together hasn't it so i don't know what you're doing how you're coping with this so i would love to hear your thoughts and ideas on this um, one of the things that i've started doing is I have this solution, I call it solution, but it's, uh, I put a little bit of uh, uh, vinegar, lemon, paprika, curry powder, and then I mix it all up with hot water. And I love drinking that. Not only it's good as a cleanser, it keeps, uh, are my insides nice and warm and it's also burns and can literally do a lot of great detoxing so I have started back on doing that at night it makes me feel good and I know it if there's any germs it can help kill the germs and paprika and curry powder and garlic they always do that so what does that have to do with heal within everything? Because when we think about heal within, it's not only a mental wellness or emotional wellness, it's in mind, body and of emotions. Here's another thing. Start writing a journal of how you feel and what's going on nowadays. It's a good thing to keep a journal, uh, write your own affirmations. Anytime you need affirmations, by all means, send me a text at 818-221-2797. I'll give you a list. Actually, you know what? At the end of this uh, post, what I will do, I will gift you. If you text me at 818-221-2797, I'll give you gift you a set of affirmations that you can use day in day out that will keep you strong 
so that you can thrive through all this is that is happening hey girl good to see you thanks for being here for everyone hi barbara how are you doing i know everywhere it's becoming a lockdown and everything and especially you working with the seniors i hope you're doing well you know i was talking to one of my friends and she's in the healthcare industry actually she's working at the hospital and she said that they are taking precautions but most of the healthcare people the workers uh have not been tested so but they are testing the patients and not everyone unless they have come uh they have traveled or they're coming from somewhere you know everyone has to use precautionary things uh be cautious take care of course we're washing our hands <laughs> it's like duh we are washing our hands more now hi giselle john how are you i miss the kids um so healing the same way as when I used to do massage, right before I started doing massage, I would always wash my hands and my clients who would walk in, especially if it was, this is a long time ago when I used to do a lot of massages, uh, when uh, men who would come in for massages, you know, it's, I would ask them if they would wipe their feet, especially if it was uh, smelly and they would. They would do it they would wash their hands they would wipe their feet and everything before the massage it's just courtesy you know the same way as the massage therapist is supposed to make sure that they wash their hands and everything and plus it's energy it's not only your immune system it's energy i was hoping that spa places be more cautious especially the places that we go for those happy feet and everything and i'm sorry i said the word the name of it but a lot of those um places that we go for just easy massages not the spas but sometimes they don't change the sheets they don't change the towels and i used to take my own sheet uh, my own um towel uh and I would put it on if I ever went. So those are little precautionary things that we're supposed to automatically do. It's called having common sense to do common sense things, right? So that's one. Um, I love women. When apologize for so many things. Uh, when I used to have massage for massage, when women women would come and they get on the table, if they had not shaved more than two days, they would say, "I'm so sorry, I forgot to shave." Men, they never say, "I'm sorry" for all the hair they had on their legs or on their arms or even on their chest. So, you know, it's uh, it's a whole different world of becoming more conscious. I'm having my clients, my client are bringing their children. I had a client who came in and said, well, I'm not 65, I'm 63. And I said, you know what? Everything in here is disinfected. Uh, my bathrooms are clean, everything. I, I do this not only for my clients, but for myself. So a part of healing, a part of this fear base, if we change the word from fear of facing everything and rising up and be more conscious and cautious, we can help one another. So even right now, I since i don't use uber i learned that uber is also delivering food for free i think it's this week hi yava john hi armin uh thank you very much Jesus john we miss you so whenever you want to let's get together and bring the kids and i will have my dog um uh, so here's another thing i'm offering not only the gifts of affirmation what do you think if you if you've seen me post uh, the pathway that I go walking and I jog? I 
can still do that. I can still be one with nature and go out. And I think all this rain is going to uh, wash away so many things. So every time I go for my walk and jog, maybe this is one thing you can also do. Many people have come out walking, which is a good thing. It's this mind-body empowering, yeah? So many are going out, not only with their dogs, but with their family, with their husbands and everything. Yes, nine months from now, for those of you who are mating, there will be a lot of kids coming. And I want you to remember, hypnobirthing, I help all my clients, if you happen to be pregnant or know someone pregnant, I help them with hypnobirthing as well. Easy birthing. So, hypnosis is so powerful. It can help with so many things. Walking. Let me come back to walking. If you want to join me to go on a hike in the mornings about 7.30 for about... 45 minutes to an hour, let me know and I will tell you where to meet me and we can do this power walk while we're talking and not more than five of us together, five, so that we can handle things. Five, the hand that can handle, right? Every number means something. Three, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those are my, my interpretations, mind, body, emotion, me, myself, and I. So that's the diamond, the power of the diamond. Five of us can go walk, hike, talk, and do this. I'll be more than happy to do the coaching. I'll be more than happy to do anything you want. It will be my gift to whoever wants to join me. Maybe tomorrow, Thursday, but definitely I'm going to start on Friday and going. So let me know if you would like to join me. Plus, for those who join me, I'll even give you the link for my uh, stand up to slim down the exercise uh, audio so that we can all listen to it. And while we're walking, we can walk with that power affirmations and drop the weight. Staying home, I love it. So many people, if you are the one that reaches the cupboard, reaches the refrigerator, and wants to eat out of boredom, out, out of frustration, I work with the emotional eaters. So, hey, a part of my book is all about that. Stand Up to Slim Down is about not what you eat. It's what's eating at you. So if you want to buy it, by all means, you can go to my website, into the shop, check out my books, check out my audio recordings, and you can, or you can just click down here and all the messages will be there. Hi, Anoush. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Rodney. It's so good to have you here. Thank you for all of you being here. If you are here live, just show me with an emoji or number one. If you are watching this on a replay, by all means, just hashtag replay. And if there's any questions, anything, go ahead and ask me. I am here and I would love to help you overcome anxiety overcome stress, overcome insomnia, overcome panic or fear. Remember? Fear. You can either forget everything and run the cup out. Hi, Arminta. Thank you for number one. Yay! We've got a number one present right here right now and then fear can also be what you want to make it which is face everything and rise rise above what is happening i love that that in itself is so empowering and i want to know what else have you faced what else have you uplifted yourself from Today, 
is St. Patrick's. For so many who celebrate St. Patrick's and wanted to go out, you can still go to the bar or the restaurant, order the food, order anything you want, take it home. You can celebrate at home. You can always celebrate it with your family. It's not what we do with others. It's the impact that we have with one another. So in a way, I love this entire thing. It's like in vacation, having a vacation without spending the money to travel, without spending the money to fly or go anywhere. You can sit in your car and you can go come and hike with me. You can uh, sit in your car and you can just take a beautiful ride to the ocean, walk around, and then come back home. You can do so much. One of my clients, we had a consultation yesterday and she said, seems like everybody is a lockdown and we're not free. And I reminded her, you are free. You are free to do anything you want in your home. You are free to say anything you want. You are free to eat anything you want. You are free to sit in your car, go get gas, and drive anywhere you want. So we have so much freedom in this country. This is just an inconvenience. And for those who come from war, the ones who were a part of all the bombings, I come from Iran. I never got to be part of the bombing and everything, but I had a client who felt all that, that they're walking on eggshells all the time. They think that this is just another inconvenience. And when we look at a broader picture, by not exposing ourselves, we are safeguarding ourselves. By not exposing your seniors, you are safeguarding your seniors. And the same with your children. So what we are doing is in a way self-preservation and self-protection. But in the convenience of your home, you are free. And of course, this is for our general public and if you happen to be one that is suffering from depression, from anxiety, if you happen to be in a uh, harsh environment at home, I'm here for you. You can always get on the phone with me. I am just a call away. FaceTime, Skype, telephone, all you have to do is text me. So for those of you who don't know, I'm also a domestic abuse consultant. So if you find yourself in a situation that you just want to talk to someone, I'm there for you. No charge, no cost. So it's not that I'm doing therapy, but I am here for you as a support system, as a backbone, as a backup. I cannot be your backbone because you have your own bone. You have your own spine. And all you have to do is remember that you can stand up. And once you stand up and feel empowered feel confident enough and remind yourself that you do matter, you can thrive. 
And if you happen to be here watching this, then I know you are more of a survivor than a victim. So face the situation, face everything and let us rise together for being here. Hi, Sona. Hi, Jenny John. Hi, Jamie. Being here together, we are now a tribe, a tribe, a tribal of coming together, and especially women. My 3E women, I love my tribe of 3E women. Uh, we have a private group on Facebook that is called the 3E event. So if you are a part of us, please let me know. I am here for you. We're going to do so many incredible things together. And Jenny, please contact me personally because I want to speak to you about something. And uh, so all of you, I thank you for being here. I thank you for being present. And I'd like to finish this message by doing a guided visualization for empowering. And if that is what you would like, by all means, find yourself a, a cozy, comfortable place so that you can lean back. For those of you who are joining, thank you for being here. Hi, Talene. So I'm going to finish today's segment by empowering you and with a small little guided visualization. And for those of you who want to contact me, please, you can text me, message me right here. Text me at 818-221-2797. Email me, message me, or call me on my uh, work number, 818-551-1501. So sit back. Take a nice deep breath. Let me see if I can start a nice music in the background. Hmm. Beautiful. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. One more time, nice deep breath. Exhale. And as you are breathing in and out easily and gently, allow yourself to close your eyes, making sure that your back is supported. And no matter what sounds surround you, it's okay. So go ahead and close your eyes and allow yourself to become aware of all that surrounds you. The sound of the faint music coming from here. The sound of my voice the sound of whatever it is that surrounds you, even the faintest sound of a ticking of a clock, noise from the other room, even the sound of a wind, cars, children, birds, And as you allow yourself to become one with your body, take another nice deep breath in. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale gently and easily. And as you exhale, just imagine your mind releasing and letting go 
of all tension, all doubt and worries. And allow this wave of relaxation to begin from the top of your head. Every single pore on your scalp opening. Every hair strand relaxing. And gently and easily allow every single pore as if ten little fingers are massaging your scalp. Relax. All the tension from the top of your head down, down, all the way down to the temple, both sides, to your forehead, down to your eyebrows. And then down easily to the tiniest little muscles around your eyes and your eyelashes. Allow it to relax. And then allow that wave of relaxation to come down to the ridge of your nose, to your cheekbones, around your lips, and as you swallow your saliva, bringing oxygen and vitality inside your body, to bring in all goodness, love, health, and vitality. And as you exhale, releasing all tension, releasing doubt, releasing worry and perhaps even blame, negativity, harsh words, even harshness towards yourself. Release and let it go. Gently, lovingly. And as I say, be kind to yourself. And allow that wave of relaxation that came from your throat just linger around your throat and become one with the color of blue, just like the sky and the ocean. And knowing the waves in the ocean, allow the waves to come and go. And as they come to shore, in your own mind's eye, just imagine yourself standing on a beautiful sandy beach. Just becoming one with that image. And become one and anchor yourself in your own mind's eye from the bottom of your feet on that beautiful sandy beach. Just your toes. If you find yourself knowing that you are far away from the water and yet grounded on Mother Earth. Just standing there mesmerized with the ocean feeds away from you. Even the sound of seagulls from far, clouds moving gently. This is all in your imagination. And for those of you who enjoy the ocean, with your eyes closed, you can just imagine it and be grateful of your own imagination 
and be one with the sounds of the ocean and the waves, the sounds of the seagull, even that breeze that comes through the ocean. And you can even feel it against your face. Think it, and you can. Think it, and be one. And if you want, you can even walk further and feel the granulated sand beneath your toes, your feet. And find yourself a rock or a place to sit on that beautiful sandy beach. Create it only in the image and imagination of your own mind. And as you find yourself there, just imagine sitting and becoming aware of all that happens and surrounds you knowing that you are safe. You have a strong body and a sound mind, a kind and loving heart, a child of God, a part of this universe. And as you are listening to the sound of my voice, Imagine that you can just touch upon if there is any discomfort, this ease, any pain that you feel within your body, within your heart, any blocks, limitations, placed upon you or by you, either knowingly or unknowingly. Think it, release it, and let it go down and become one with the sand. So the next time that the ocean and the waves from the ocean come all the way to shore, they can wash away. Wash it all the way down. And as it recedes, it will take it all the way to the depths of the ocean. Just think it and release, let it go. Evoking what was, which is part of your history of what happened, a part of your journey until today. and embrace the reality where you are right here, right now, with all that surrounds you, with all that you are, with your brightness, with your shadow, with your challenges, with your gifts, with all that you are and your experiences that has helped you be here right now. so that you can evolve to all things that you wish. You want to create, you want to be, you want to conquer physically, mentally, emotionally. And all the burdens that has been placed upon your shoulders, drop it. 
Let it go down all the way from your back, from your spine, from your hands, all the way down to the tip of each and every one of your fingers. And as if you can just place your fingers in that imaginary sandy beach and open the palm of your hand and just release everything from inside the palm of your hand into the sand. And as you expand your rib cage, your lungs expand. You can breathe much better and express your heart pumps oxygenated blood throughout healing And blood flow flows all the way to the tip of each and every one of your toes and then back through every vein in your body. Emotional blocks expand and open. And knowing that you are safe, you are safe in your body. You are safe where you are. You are safe with who you are. And that inner child of yours looking up to you at this very moment, thanking you for this wave of relaxation. The strength that you embody. Validating who you are. And being grateful for all that you have. Either tangible or emotional. And with the grace of God, knowing that you can stand up for yourself. And those that you want to protect. And allow the wave of relaxation that started at the top of your head and went all the way down to your throat. And you can just drop and let go of everything from your shoulders, emotionally, physically, mentally. And all the way down from your chest, down to your core, to your belly button, to your stomach, digesting life, digesting food, digesting and knowing that you can, affirming that you can and allow that wave of relaxation to come down to your hips, knowing that each and every time you move, you shift and you can shift. all the way down, grounding yourself with Mother Earth from your thighs down to your knees, to your calves, to your ankles, to the bottom of your feet, to the tip of each and every one of your toes and even wiggle them in your imaginary sandy beach. Feel the warmth, the warmth within. Even the moisture beneath the sandy beach. And again, being grateful to this incredible, powerful mind of yours that can imagine and create and face everything. And when you feel ready, rise up, stand up. knowing that we are grateful for all the people. Be grateful for all the journey and those 
who have been part of your life, good, bad, right, wrong, it doesn't matter, the lessons. Be grateful for where you are today and know that you have a choice of where you want to go. Standing up for yourself because you do matter. You do. You have a voice. So everything that you no longer want, you can just leave it where it is and imagine taking a walk on this beautiful sandy beach. And you never know that an angel may be walking with you. And you feel their grace and protection and the wings right there, softly, like a wind. Just reminding you that you are always protected. Your family and loved ones are protected. And with that, I will count from one to five. And when I say five, you will open your eyes. Coming to full conscious awareness right here, right now. On the count of one, coming to full conscious awareness. Knowing that your imagination and everything comes to full awareness where you are sitting at right here, right now. That anytime you want, you can always close your eyes and imagine yourself at that beautiful sandy beach and let go of all things you no longer want, no longer necessary. On the count of three, coming back to full conscious awareness right here, right now, where you are. And four, as if you have washed your face on that beautiful sandy beach, being grateful to that ocean and to the waves. And if a tear comes trickling down your face, oh, it's so good to be alive. Say thank you to this incredible body of yours, your loving heart your sound mind, and that beautiful imagination. You do matter. Five. You may open your eyes and know the magic happens within you. This has been an hour of Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. I will have all the information that I said right here beneath. And if today's message was beneficial to you, by all means, share it. And I am here for you anytime. You may call me and message me. But for today, thank every one of you who has been a part of today's Heal Talk message. God bless you and may the universal light be with you.